Money, money, money! In Damas? Well, you didn't see that coming. Okay, so I sprayed the body. Um, came out very nice. Look, this was an experiment for myself to get to a place where I can do a body that does not look printed at all. Um, that's got a hell of a nice paint job. Wara, wara, wara. However, me being me, I am still not sold in the whole shiny thing. I'm going to leave this one, you know, as it is, like a sort of a, oh, look what can be done with a print. Um, but it does need, like we said in the army back in the day, it does need some Hoden attitude. That, look at this, a brilliant shine. You see what happens is, the top coat, the grey, is not um, Tamiya, that is Rustodium. Okay, so it's a different sort of, I want to say almost texture. Okay, <clears throat> so it's extremely, extremely shiny. You can see there. Now, I don't like that at all. That is, that is very, very shiny. That ain't going to work for me. The side is the Tamiya paint, which you can see the light has got a brilliant... This is not polished yet, hey? Okay. Now, let me explain Hoden to you. Attitude. We used to take our uniforms in the army and starch them and then jig them so that they fade and we used to iron in you know, all the little lines and stuff, okay? Now, without doing this as a weathered model, I can still get it to look a bit better. I am going to polish the whole thing. What I did on the roof here, now look at that. This is, it's still shiny, but it's not as bad as that. You see the difference there? I mean, this is almost toy-like, it's... It's wavy and it's not lacquer. I don't like it. The roof was the same until I polished it. Now, I like that. Um, because, you know, I, I was in the fortunate position. I've seen um, these 34s four times in my life, four different deliveries, brand spanking new out the factory or out the paint shop. And never, ever did they shine like this. You know, I think it's the paint that they use to paint these things. This is almost a 2K vehicle finish. Um, whereas, you know, these things were painted with QD enamel and stuff. There was no real um, care given to a shiny finish. It just had to be covered. And, uh, yeah, so like I say, you see that, that there, I don't like that at all. And it's a very thin layer, this. I mean, that, that, that's brass there. Where is it? There. That's a point uh, three millimeter brass. And this one here too, there behind the exhaust. And I punched rivets in it so you can still see it. So it's not that thick. It was basically two coats. But because it's so shiny, it sort of almost detracts from the detail. I don't like it at all. Don't know what you guys think, but I don't like that at all. So now I'm going to polish this. What I did on the roof was I actually went in with a rough Tamiya compound, you know, the, 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 not the fine one, I don't know what they call it, the, the, red, the red cap one, and then after that I put the wax on, so I didn't go with the fine, if you put the fine on then it shines, not as bad as that, but it still, it shines, it's just a more, it's a deeper shine this, it, it's, I like, I like the way the roof looks. That to me, that does it for me. Um, and even so on the sides, if you look at a thing like that that was polished, and you look at this, um, it, is, it is very, very shiny. It's too shiny. So I think, you know, it's like any car that you paint. Um, that's why they polish it, is to give like a, another... How can I call it? A facet almost to the paint. 
just to give it, you know, get rid of that and make it nice and smooth. As shiny as this is, this is not smooth. It, it, it's smooth, but it's not, it's not like that. That, that looks polished. You know, so, yeah, that is, that is, that, that's what I want. And, um, yeah, so I'll do the rest. But the print came out brutal. I mean, there's nowhere here where I can see that this thing was printed. It, 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 it looks like a metal body. I love it. You know, a camera tends to bring stuff out that's wrong. It, it, you're very brave to take a video like this so close with a 3D print. You're very, very brave. Um, but I'm very comfortable with this one. I think it came out brutally. And uh, I start at the 35. I'm going to do that the same way. I've got my recipe now, so I'm going to do that the same way. That's going to be golf red, and that's going to be painted with Duco. I mixed Duco back in the day. A buddy of mine did, old Lodens. And um, I'm going to chuck that at it. So uh, let's see how that comes out. But hey, man, like, like one of the guys from Brazil said, um, yeah, it's a nice looking loco, man. Uh, let's take it out a bit. Uh, it's just a nice shape. It's such a cool shape. I prefer the 35 even with the shorter body. It's more stocky. Um, yeah. All right, I'm, I'm going to go home now. I am now tired. We're going to put in ceilings tomorrow, so I need to go rest. Um, okay, dude. So, hope you like it. Let me know what you think. Um, it's also the first time that I do the body in the TS-12 Tamiya um, because before this I actually mixed the paint up and it was do, done as a base for weathering so it was faded um, this is a much more red orange TS-12 if any of you guys want to paint a spoor net livery um, ever in orange go for TS-12 it's the right color it's a red orange. Oh yeah, and the other thing that I want to show you quickly. Just give me a moment of your time. Decals. Now, there it's fine. That's a flat surface. The decal will work perfectly. Yeah, is a nightmare. You can see that decal there. Because of the scale, I mean, this thing is so big that the surrounds on the door... And the indentations between the doors is just too big for a decal. doesn't matter what you do um, for a decal to sink in there. I've tried three or four different papers. It's always a stuffer because it goes over hinges here, goes over a door handle. It's got the top there. It's, it's got the bottom here. Um, it's, it's an absolute nightmare to do the decals. So on one of the videos, I think it was Night Shift or one of those masters, they actually put a stencil on the side of a building and they painted the decal on. So now I asked my other half today to cut me a stencil tomorrow. I'm not too sure out of what yet. We got various plastics here and stuff that I can cut it out from. I will try a couple of different materials and see what sort of follows the lines there. I was thinking to actually cut the thing out of um, tape, double-sided tape, or uh, not double-sided tape, masking tape. Um, I mean, it doesn't have, you, you glue it down on a piece of, cut it out, glue it down on a piece of MDF, um, cut the, the thing in, and just take the MDF out, and leave the rest, and then pull it off and stick it on you. I'll see how I'm going to do it. I... I, I I have no idea, but then I want to paint it on and check how that goes. So, as these things go, that can stuff up this body completely, um, if it's a nightmare. I've got that old one over there that was one of the ones that I use for testing. I'll do it on there first and see how it comes out. Um, that reminds me, I actually put a, a layer of paint on there, and then I can test on there and see, see what it does. Um, and I'll cut a couple of them. Let's see if I can actually spray a deck on. I remember the way he did it was very, very thin and a lot of layers. So that you don't put stress on, on the masking tape. 
or whatever you use to mask it or the the actual background of your um, stencil I can't use stencil glue really because I'm scared that it might stuff up the paint you know there's a lot of things here that I need to take into consideration but I think um, I think I might I might get away with a masking tape or a tape we've got a couple of tapes here that I can cut through and see what happens otherwise I just do a plastic a very very thin plastic stencil and see you know how close I can get it to the body and position it so that you know where I need to paint large pieces I'm just missed the door handle you know and you just paint these little ones because that is the problem is they very you can see they're very high especially now with the with the resin doors I mean those things are they're high uh, decal doesn't like that at all all right dudes so that's that I'm gonna go we speak like that good yellow uh, have a lovely evening speak like that good